It can't just be me. These cows look like they broke into the back of this thing. You were like, ooh, grass, let's eat some. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. I couldn't find anything to put in the first shot, so we're looking at the sun. Today, we've got seven mods for you, and they are for all platforms. We've got four new and three updates. Let's check it out. First up, I'm going to show you one of the coolest haylofts we have ever seen. Now, one thing to keep in note. Before we even look at this, I need you guys to know this. If we go over here to silos and we go in and we go check out haylofts, you're gonna see that I have two installed. These haylofts, one of which was originally released, but then was taken off the mod hub very soon after. PC and console players, listen, if you downloaded this mod and you still have it installed, console players, if you download the new hayloft, this old hayloft, will be overridden because it's showing up as an update because it has the exact same name. The reason it has the exact same name is because giants don't support the hayloft on the right anymore. They support the one on the left. So if you have this installed in your own console, the new hayloft is going to override the old hayloft. If you guys are on PC, do what I did. Go in, just change the, the name of the, the mod. So. I changed the one on the right instead of changing the one on the left since it's not supported. I just did like, you know, it's FS19 underscore Hayloft is what it's called. I just did another underscore and it said unsupported. And then that's exactly what I did. So if you're going to use the new one, just keep in mind, um, it all is within what, 10% of it. So it's kind of the same thing. Uh, it just doesn't hold 2.5 million liters. It holds 250,000 liters. So back at it this thing's so cool all right so first off every single door opens all of them not just one not just two not just six actually i don't know how many doors are on here there's five doors <laughs> actually there are six because guess what we're gonna jump in here and we're gonna take this up now you may be wondering to yourself dj i saw the picture of this and it's got all kinds of stuff on it like it's got stuff well i'm gonna show you Ooh, i don't know what's going on right there there we go <laughs> we're gonna go up here and we are going to open this door too because you can you may be saying I, that doesn't make any sense how in the world can we get up there and and what are we clipping on well I'm going to go ahead and close that back. We're going to back this thing out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and close all the doors. Because this guy, this does an amazing, really cool magic trick. Not only is it a hayloft, not only is it a barn where you can park stuff. But this guy right here, if we turn on our help window and we go to this box, it says mount the hay and straw balers. I want to mount them. The top doors open up, we get a side thing, boop, we get the blower in there, we get the chute popped up, man, that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my goodness. So now we can go in and we can fill up with straw and hay. Now this is where you're going to dump your straw and hay. So just right here, right on top of the blower or the sucker, I'm not really sure what you would call that thing. So we just dump, we're just going to dump it all out. Why not? There we go. Straw is dumped out. If we go in here, we see 13,250 liters of straw is in there. Same with hay. It'll work the exact same the way with hay. And if we pull under here, pull under the chute, boop, and we get straw. And it fills it up. Not only does it fill it up, it fills it up really fast. Like, really fast. I like that. That's really cool. Now, that's how you do that. If I remove this, so we're going to go back over here and you can actually remove this just like that. Boop. And everything will close up and be done. If I jump back in here and I try to back in, I can't. I don't get any tip trigger. So it is completely reliant on you opening it up. So if you want to use this as a 
Hayloft, you can. If you just want to use it as a small barn, you can. Now, I wonder if we dump all the straw in here. What's going to happen if once we've dumped it all in here, if we stop it? So that's that. Good. Let's, let's just put it all away. Boop, boop. And now it's all gone. Just like that. What happens if I'm like, okay, well, it's like that. Am I still showing? Yep, still showing 13,500. What happens if I pull under here? Nothing. Nothing happens. You can't get your straw out. You've got to enable the uh, the blower and the auger. Or the, uh, the nozzle, whatever you want to call it. How neat is that? That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And we just... It's, it's so cool. We just back up. We get our straw back. That is, it's just one of the coolest mods we've ever gotten. Next up, we have the Workshop Garage. This right here is just a really big garage. However, I am seeing some, some interesting things with it because it takes up a whole lot more room than it's actually using. So if I go up to this door right here, if we even turn on our help window, you can't open these doors at all. None of these open. And so if we go over here, that opens. This door opens. Is this door open? That door opens. We pull straight through. Boom, like that. We've got a garage, a workshop in here. And it's cut off from the rest of the uh, garage. That's cool. That's great. I love that. And we go over here. We get a very nice sized garage as well here. Very cool. I dig that as well. However, this door looks the same and is the same size as these doors, yet we can't open them. So I don't know if they just forgot to put the tip trigger in there or the, you know, the collision, whatever it is. Um, I will say these windows are completely blacked out. However, we've come over here, this window is completely open. So that may be a sign as well saying, hey, you know, that is what it is. I also have a door to nowhere up there. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, let's go up there. Got your light right here. You can turn your light on. Boom, like that. Uh, if we go over here, we get another light, a completely separate light, I believe. Go over here. Yep, completely separate. That's great. I like this. I just wish the other doors opened. Nonetheless, this is cool. Of course, this is going to be found in placeables and in sheds. Next up, we have the Pottinger Jumbo Combi Line. This right here is a loading wagon. And loading wagon? A loading wagon. This is the one with the cows in the back that look like they broke in. They're like, you know what? I think we're just going to eat all this grass here. I'm going to walk over here. You walk over there. We're just going to eat all this grass together. That's what it looks like. I love it. I love that on the back. This right here comes in four different configurations. And we're going to look at all of them. I love the fact that we're getting some extra loading wagons. Here it is right here. We've got four. So we have the 6010, the 6610, 7210, and 110. This right here, the 6010, holds 33,800 liters. The next one up holds 37,300. The one up from that, 40,800. And the one up from that, 47,300. Prices go accordingly. So let's check out the smallest one and see what our customization is. Not a whole lot going on here. Wheel Brands, we have Trelleborg and Michelin. That is it. That's it. That's the only one. Again, moving on to the next one. Trelleborg and Michelin. Just wheel setups. That is it. Nothing else. Moving over to the next one, and this is the only one that has an extra option. So, of course, Trelleborg, Michelin, Design, Standard Chassis. Yep. Tritum chassis. So with the 40,800 liter capacity trailer, we can either make it a double axle or a triple axle. I love the fact that not only we get this option, but the entire assembly on the bottom changes as well. It wasn't just like, a, oh, we'll just remove two wheels and then boop. Now we got six wheels. It was completely redone for this mod. That is so cool. Great job there. Of course, Jellyburg and Michelin. And if we go to over here, this is your largest version. Uh, six, uh, six wheels, three axles by default. Cannot change that to two. You probably wouldn't want to with that much literage in there. Again, Trelleborg and Michelin there. Very great looking mod. 
works perfectly, does what it's supposed to do. And your last new mod for all platforms today is Somerset Farms by Steve's Mod. Somerset Farms, which is based on various places around the UK. This map includes all Farming Simulator 19 features, all animals are built into placeables. Please check before taking models from the map as Lancy Boy made a few of them and needs permission to use them. Full season support with grazing, custom lighting, animated objects, custom soil textures, distance, grass, and ground textures, cow farm, pig farm, sheep farm, horses, chicken farm, two cell points, biogas, sawmill, dairy, excel points, and more. Over 30 fields, small, medium, and large, custom transport missions, and field missions as well. It does support the FPS distance mod, and please ask before using any of the models that are on this map. He hopes that you enjoy. So I know one thing right off the bat, some Xbox players are reporting that Seasons is not playing nicely with this. If you're having any issues with it, let me know. Or if you're having no issues, that's even better. Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's take a look at the map. So the map looks great. Buyables are look to be every single field, at least mostly through here. Uh, if we go and we check and see, can we buy the outside of the map? That is a negative. However, we pretty much own all the little spots that you would need to own. So that's kind of nice. Um, so it looks like the entire area around the map, everything that's in blue right now, which is going to include your farm, that is actually it doesn't include your farm. Your farm's right there. You don't even own your farm. Goodness gracious. Uh, everything around in blue, all the extra areas that you would consider the outside of the map, $600. $94,000. You could probably sell that right off the bat and be just fine. We do get one field owned. Uh, when it's all said and done, you get field 14. That is your chicken farm for $79,000. I will tell you, everything pretty good. This reminds me a lot of, um, oh goodness, uh, the old stream farm, Black Sheep Mining Map, because it's small and it's just insanely detailed. Very cool. What do you get in New Farmer? What kind of vehicles do we get? We get a change up. Yo, I dig the starting vehicles. We get a New Holland T5. We get the John Deere 6M. We get the New Holland T7. New Holland TX32. We also get an AgriLiner TDK302. We get the header plow. We get a direct drill. That is great right there. Uh, we also had a dispine, so we get a mower, windrower, tether. We get a round baler. We get front loaders. We've got <laughs> wait and we also get a water station and a large grain silo that water station looks kind of familiar love it man i love it as far as placeables so it's said that the animals are built into the map i want to go through here and see are there any that we can see maybe we can buy the animals on this uh map as well it doesn't look like we can buy them however they are part of the map anyway so that is good. Moving into updates, we've got an update to Hall Micra, and it has completely changed the map. Not only that, we are in a big square box now. I'll explain. Ignore that for now. Ignore it. Stop listening to it. Just quit paying attention. Hall Micra 2020 is a forestry and farming property set in southern Sweden. A detailed and diverse forest. Seven fields now. Areas for placeable buildings. Seasons is supported 100%. Custom textures for seasons as well. Custom tree textures, over 30,000 trees to cut down. The DOF graphics has been removed to improve FPS and distance blurriness. And for the update, changelog version 2 added farming, expanded the map, foliage textures, and the project Mecklenburg. We also have new tree textures and a few minor corrections as well. And farm buildings are from 20mm Normandy. A lot of people are using their buildings because, well, they're some of the best out there. Here's the issue. I have talked with T-Bone of North Modding Company, who is one of the modders for this, and he said, DJ, the wrong version was uploaded, uh, or the wrong version was released, rather. So with this one, don't go over the edge because you can clip. Also, the map borders are visible. So here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, we're going to run off this side of the map just to see what happens. I'm sorry, T-Bone. I love you, brother. <laughs> we're going to run off. Um, I had mentioned to him, I was like, so pretty much tell people. I had asked him what he wanted me to say. And I was like, so pretty much tell people uh, the world is flat and don't go towards the side or you'll fall off. He's like, yeah, pretty much. 
So we're gonna give it a try and see what happens when we get too close. Now, of course, uh, I've been made aware that probably this is going to change tomorrow. So keep in mind, we're probably gonna get an update tomorrow for this. So just be aware, hopefully it does release. So let's see what happens. Don't go towards the side. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh, yep, so don't do what I did. Perfect. And we've got an update to Drysternhof. Changelog 1.002. Improved your own placeables. Exchange some shelters. Textures on the side of the road and some dirt roads have been changed. Revised the landscape in the game now can paint bushes. Grass town, yeah. And decorative grass cannot be drawn. Uh, renewable grass rough be drawn, except the new textures on the streets, dirt roads, and landscapes. No new game safe is needed. So there you go, very cool, great update. And lastly today, we've got an update to Charwell. Change log, lights have been added to the farms. FPS issues in the farmhouse have been fixed. Fields and train have been fixed. And the gates have been fixed. So thank you guys for reporting any issues and stuff like that over to Lancey Boy. He has now popped out an update for us and we are all set and ready to go. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHeadFam, and turn your notification bells on if you haven't already so that you never miss a new mod video here on the channel. That being said, hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.